Hello. Hello. Welcome, Stanislav. Uh, we are the committee. Uh, my name is Vidya Dejuk. Uh, I'm the chair of this today's session. Uh, I'm a person who works in banks, also in public administration, and currently in real estate. Together with me are uh, ladies Katarzyna Rinkiewicz. She's the uh, head of the division health and benefits in our own insurance company, also Magdalena Maciejewska. She works in the insurance uh, business and currently she is a business consultant. It's your time for your presentation. After that, we'll, we'll have a question to you. Please start. Okay. Hello, my name is Stanislaw Szymański and I am 17 years old. I come from Warsaw. I'm a student of the third class of the biology, chemistry and mathematics profile at Władysław IV High School. I am extrovert, honest and trustworthy individual I am positive and I get along well with everybody. In my school, I actively participate in both cultural and sports events. And I am a part of the school film and drama clubs where I am an actor, but I also help as much as I can with the technical aspects of filmmaking. I like history. I don't have extended classes of this subject, but it is my little hobby. I am also a part of the school rowing team with which we have been winning medals at the championships in Warsaw every year so far. Additionally, from the beginning of the high school, I was fond of biology. I began attending extra course of it. In the last years, I participated in the national biology contest Unfortunately, I didn't win any title after three years of studying. However, I am determined to become a laureate or at least a finalist next year. My main interest after school is meeting with friends. So every weekend, I try to gather my friends around and go play volleyball or football together. Sport that I also love is chess. It's an excellent way to improve your mind, memory, and of course, simply have fun. Mm, I'm, I am also a big fan of cinema. Every film has a story that can teach us something. And I firmly believe there is no better way to spend an evening than watching a good film. My family and I have traveled a lot. We have visited many European countries and famous places. Unfortunately, I have never visited another continent, so scholarship is a great way to learn about different cultures. As for the future, I would love to study medicine after graduating from high school, either at Medical University of Warsaw or abroad. I am thinking about France because it's a, an EU country. However, I am also considering USA but I know that studying there involves a lot of costs. So if I manage to become a scholarship holder, I want to check how American medical universities work. As for the near future, I would like to find my first summer job to become more independent and see what hard work means. Given my enthusiasm for learning, motivation in seeking new challenges and genuine desire to grow, I believe I will be an excellent candidate for the program. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, my question is, how your idol, Leonardo DiCaprio, is connected <laughs> with uh, your interest in medicine, chemistry, biology, uh, and uh, Silicon Valley? Why do you uh, choose him as your hero? As I said in my presentation, I love film. Yeah. And I'm uh, I'm an actor too, yes. So it's mainly because of it. And Leonardo DiCaprio is also an activist in social causes and environmental issues. And I think it's very important uh, now nowadays to broaden the knowledge about climate change. As well, he's uh, passionate about his craft. And I know that being a doctor is something like that, because you must be passionate about uh, helping others to recover from their illnesses and injuries. 
Okay. And how do you think that uh, this scholarship will help you in uh, choosing your uh, way? And you, you thought that you will look at the university in the US, how do they teach the, the medicine? But are you convinced to, to study medicine? Yes. Uh, medicine is a great way for me. Mm, and I know that universities in the USA are the best in the world. So as uh, Stanford, it's, uh, I checked its number in 50 university in the US that as the best uh, medicine sector. So it would be a great, a great way to improve my knowledge about medicine. And I know that it would be a great job for me because I love to help others and I want to learn all the time. Uh, uh, being a doctor is learning all the time because medicine is advancing uh, and yeah. Okay, thank you. Uh, the, the lady who like Magda? Uh, maybe, if, sure. if, if I may, yes. Uh, uh, Stanislav, uh, thank you very much for, for your presentation. Uh, uh, very interesting, uh, very, uh, you know, uh, wide uh, uh, interest. Uh, uh, I, I love films as well. Uh, 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 so I, we can talk probably a lot about this, but I, I want to focus on 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 the, on. on uh, on um, the same subject, uh, what you focus on is the biology. Uh, and uh, if you can uh, tell us uh, what kind of problems Poland is facing in, in terms of uh, climate change, and if uh, and how we can uh, we can you know what we can do with it. Uh, mostly, there is a problem in Poland about burning fossil fuels. Okay. And uh, the climate change in the ozone depletion and uh, using the known renewable sources of energy such as coal. And uh, yeah, there is main source of energy in Poland um, burning coal and it decreases our atmosphere a lot. Mm -hmm. Anyway, we can, you know, uh, change that? Yes, uh, we can use more renewable sources of energy such as wind or solar. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, Stanislav, uh, I am uh, trying to, you know, like uh, look at all of you describing there are so many uh, areas. Uh, how do you, of your interest, uh, how do you divide your time uh, between you've been mentioning focus on medicine but also uh, playing and acting uh, as well as watching movies but at the same time you mentioned that you know that the, the biggest hobby is about meeting people what is the ratio between those uh, those uh, areas how do you divide your time uh, in order to pursue the goals that you set for yourself getting to medicine uh, as being the major one as i understand uh, so I'm meeting people uh, in weekends uh, to play volleyball or football. So uh, I also uh, have training in Satur uh, Saturdays, on Saturdays, uh, rowing trainings and uh, learning. Um, I learn um, uh, mostly uh, during the week from mon Monday to Friday. And uh, I'm, mm -hmm. I don't know, uh, okay. <laughs> it's working. Okay. So you don't have this kind of, you know, magical uh, uh, way of, you know, <laughs> like, you know, sleeping for three hours only in order to be able to do all of it. Uh, I was looking for this kind of secret. Uh, secret <laughs> no, I don't have any. <laughs> food because it's healthy. Um, if you were to uh, advise us, uh, but us, like here, mm -hmm. apart from the solutions that you gave on the climate change of what to do on the more global level, if we end this call, what would be the one thing you would assign for us to do in order to uh, go towards the climate change, to fight against climate change and support this cause? Um, I would say to broaden the knowledge to other people, because nowadays um, we have to tell uh, our friends mm -hmm. or family that combating uh, climate change is crucial for our existence. Mm -hmm. uh, in one of the, of the webinars, 
I heard a sentence that we don't inherit air from our parents, but we borrow it from our children. And it uh, should be main sentence and view for us uh, as climate change. Okay, and one last question. Uh, what would be the right source of this knowledge among, you know, the, the, the era of fake news and unreliable information? What kind of media or some maybe people, apart from Leonardo DiCaprio, which we already know, wh whom do you follow? Or what would you advise us to follow when it comes to gaining more knowledge? Mm, probably uh, simply professional articles about it, scientific articles from uh, the magazines such as Science or Nature. Okay. Right. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Uh, please tell us how would you like to share your knowledge and experience when you will uh, be granted for this scholarship, my colleagues? Mm, mainly, I want to show them that everything is possible. The, the uh, student of the uh, environment uh, could get this opportunity to visit USA. It's another continent, it's a great way to learn about different cultures as well as improve the language. So I know that uh, spreading the knowledge about uh, the scholarship as well as the opportunity will be a great way to, um, to show them that our horizons can Ever, uh, can be broadened for all the time. Okay, so thank you very much. We are approaching to the end of this uh, session, and uh, yeah, you are a person who precisely want to know what what do you want, and I wish you that you will uh, keep uh, in this uh, decision. You have uh, very many different activities and you are a socially developed person. I wish that your friend will uh, very understand you and will support you and will answer your friendship uh, to you. Thank you. Thank you. Hmm? Uh, yeah. um... Stanisław, uh, thank you very much for, for the entire presentation. Uh, absolutely good luck with, uh, with your next scientific competitions you're planning to, to conquer. Um, I keep my fingers crossed for, for the focus that you have, because being this kind of man of, re of Renaissance man, having so many fields of interest, it is right now, and it is in the future going to be critical for you to, to keep, the, keep the focus on, on the area that you choose as your primary one. Of course, keeping the other activities also uh, in your life, those that bring fun or those that uh, develop you, but having maintaining the right balance between focus on one uh, area and, and having uh, other activities in your life, this is uh, something I'm, uh, I'm especially uh, wishing to you and keeping my fingers crossed for you. And also, I'm going to be very much uh, looking into the movies, whether maybe I'm going to be able to see you in a movie one day as well. Who knows? Good luck with everything. And thank you for today. Thank you. And uh, last word for, from my side, uh, Stanisław. Um, you know, uh, I, I uh, talk to my friends sometimes uh, and uh, we, we complain that young people only stay uh, and play computer games and uh, uh, um, communicate via emails, but you show that uh, it's different. It can uh, be differently. I mean, you you put a lot of efforts on uh, on the meeting with other people, uh, talk uh, to them face to face, and I think we really need that uh, to develop the social skills uh, uh, among young people. So please continue to do that. Um, um, it was a pleasure to meet you uh, today. Uh, all the best uh, uh, and cross fingers for, for, for the Silicon Valley uh, uh, winning. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. In two, three weeks, you will be informed about the results of this uh, um, competition. Thank you. Thank okay. You Thank you. Bye. Goodbye. Bye.